Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different video for you guys. I am going to be doing a hair tool review. Uh, every once in a while I decide I want to learn how to do my hair or find something that makes it easier to do my hair. And uh, I decided today I would review my new little toy here. I got the Bedhead Wave We Go hair waver. Looks like this. It's got the double barrels on the front and then the one in the middle. And I have been looking at this for a while and I saw that Ulta had it on sale and I had a bunch of points so I used my points to get this for uh, only like a couple bucks. It may have even been completely free when it comes down to like points and stuff like that. So I decided I'd try it today for you guys and see how it worked. So uh, the way this thing works is that it has a knob at the top and you can adjust it to decide the style you want to have. So it just pushes this middle bar out uh, or back in when you turn it. So the smallest one is going to give you the most defined waves when you like squish your hair together in here. Uh, and then the fourth one gives you the most like kind of loose and tousled. So based on like the manual, cause I did read it, the fourth one is supposed to give you just a little bit of texture. The third one is supposed to give you a little bit more of like a beachy wave. And then the second one is a more like a curl. And then the first one is more like a crimp. So I am going to try it on the crimp because I have not done that with my hair in a very long, long time. Um, but the way it works is the power button is in here and it has an up and down button so you can adjust the temperatures. So for me, I have thin, fine hair and it recommends you go somewhere between 250 and 280. Already my one kind of like criticism, I guess, is that I wish it had um, like an in-between because 280 uh, is fine for thin hair but my hair even though it's thin has a really hard time holding a style so I wish there was like a 300 because it jumps up to 325 right after that and then 350 375 and 400 so it goes up pretty high for uh, really thick hair and also this has a shut off so when it is on for over an hour it will turn off so I'm just gonna give this a shot today we're gonna see how it works and if it actually works on thin, fine hair. I do a whole lot of layers because it doesn't say you really have to, you know, do super small sections. So I'm gonna take a, a decent sized section here and we're gonna give this a go. So it says to take this at your root and then you just clamp it down. Make sure the hair is like in the middle and you hold for five to eight seconds. Okay, and then you move it down to where the bottom barrel was and you hold it again. And you just do this the whole way down the hair. It really doesn't take this thing long to heat up. I plugged this in about probably two minutes before I started filming and it started heating up uh, and it will blink at you when it's heating up and then uh, it just holds steady over the temperature once it is ready. So took this all the way to the ends and you can see compared to my hair before there is some kind of crampy texture going on. So we're gonna keep going around my head. Uh, and I'm just gonna chit chat while I do this. Uh, so I know I haven't been putting out a whole like a uh, lot of like beauty content lately. I just have been like kind of overwhelmed with 100 days of makeup on my Instagram and it's finally like coming to an end. Right now I'm doing a series that requires a lot of body painting because I'm doing a Monster High series that I thought about doing on my channel but then I thought like maybe I should chill with the Halloween content for a little while um even though a lot of people are doing like quarantine Halloween or quarantine or something like uh people are doing 
halfway to Halloween kind of stuff because everyone's stuck in the house and Halloween brings a lot of people joy and gives them like a sense of normalcy. So I have seen a lot of people like pre-decorating for that. Some people have been doing like Christmas too, uh, but I am obviously a Halloween person. So I'm trying to like maintain normalcy. Um, but also I'm, I um, am working during this time. So some of my days I'm working like all day. So I don't have that normal schedule that I had before of getting videos up, getting videos out and doing like, you know, I don't have those extra days where I had a whole lot of free time. And then when I, on the days I do have free time, I still have schoolwork because as an online student, I really didn't get the whole, uh, like change in curriculum. So my curriculum stayed the same and uh, some of my professors did cancel finals because they're a blessing. Um, but uh, some of the other ones have like doubled the work and I think a lot of people are experiencing that, which kind of sucks because I know a few of my classmates have had some family members uh, being affected by the pandemic and they, like the professors just are not uh, giving them any sort of leeway with that so it's really it's just sad to see like the lack of compassion sometimes so I have basically the whole front section of my hair done and as you can see it is very wavy I think it looks a little weird like maybe I'm not getting to the root enough um, but because this is so big I can't really get all the way up here without like the barrel touching my scalp but you can see this is what it looks like compared to my normal hair so it's definitely wavy and crimpy I'm not gonna touch it right now I'm just gonna let it completely cool and then we're gonna like kind of style it a little bit and see what we think One problem that I'm noticing is doing the back of your head is very difficult if your hair is short and you can't bring it all the way around to the front like I know I did the back but I can tell you right now it is very very straight compared to the rest of my hair so we're just gonna you know figure it out but like if your hair is my length or shorter you're probably not gonna be able to do it so you might have to have someone else do the back of your head because it's gonna be hard to not only line up the barrels but even see like where you need to pull it down to are you to the end of your hair did you hold it long enough that sort of thing like with a curling iron you can like kind of lift it up but with this it's you can't really do it like straight up in the air because it's harder I mean I guess you could but it just doesn't seem like it would work very well all of my hair for the most part I think has been crimped and now I'm just gonna like shake it out a little bit so it has a little more texture so this is how it looks I mean I don't think it looks bad I think I probably need more practice with it to get at my roots um, but with like some product or something I think it could be cute or if I pulled, you know, if I was pulling it all up in a ponytail, it definitely gives me more of like a wavy kind of texture, which I like. That's kind of nice because usually my hair doesn't look very full in a ponytail. So if I were to just pull it up, I think it would actually be much cuter and give it a little volume, which I'm always down for. Um, and obviously, you know, if I had like a primer like had blow dried it or whatever it would be more effective and as I kind of shake it out I think I like it better so maybe setting like two or three would be more the way I want to go and I like play with it, it kind of make sure hair look more like naturally curly or like a kind of natural texture so if I were just to like pull it over like this I think it would actually look kind of nice uh, but for me this is kind of a time saver because it obviously didn't take me very long to do this uh 
and it saves me from having to like get in the shower and then braid my hair, or put it in rollers and then sleep in it and then take it all out and brush it all out and hope that it turns out right. Like this would be easily correctable. Like I could just brush it out if it got too crazy and it would be fine. So overall, I like it. I think I just might need to change my setting on it, but definitely the 280 heat setting worked really well. And the nice thing is, is my hair definitely doesn't feel crispy or fried. It still just feels like my own hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and chit chat of things that I've just been thinking about lately. Uh, and if you did, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and comment down below other things you want to see me try out and maybe I will do them. So I hope you, have a, you guys have a great day and are staying safe and entertained during quarantine and I'll see you in the next one.